Republican Party was created in 1854. The first Republican Party platform adopted at the party's first national convention in 1856 promised to defeat, quote, those twin relics of barbarism, polygamy and slavery. Those twin relics were spreading into the Western territories. Republicans feared that as those territories became states, polygamy and slavery might become permanent parts of American life. Polygamy, the marriage of one man to multiple women, devalued women and made them a kind of property. Slavery, of course, did the same to blacks, literally. The Democrats were so opposed to the Republicans and their anti-slavery stance that in 1860, just six weeks after the election of the first Republican president, Abraham Lincoln, South Carolina, a state dominated by Democrats, voted to secede from the Union. The Civil War that followed was the bloodiest war in U.S. history. It led to the passage by Republicans of the 13th Amendment, which freed the slaves, the 14th Amendment, which gave them citizenship, and the 15th Amendment, which gave them the vote. In 1870, the first black senator and the first black congressman were sworn in, both Republicans. In fact, every black representative in the House until 1935 was a Republican, and every black senator until 1979 was too. For that matter, the first female member of Congress was a Republican. The first Hispanic governor and senator were Republicans. The first Asian senator, you get the idea.